Hey, what's up, my neeks? Where is Layton? Huh? <laughs> Atomic Train 808, where are you hey, at, wait, man? Where is Atomic Train 808 here? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this has got JLN here. Roberto. Corona Tiff. And we are going to watch, what is it? Bad Boys. Bad Boys? What you going to do? No, Good Boys. Good Boys. What you going to do when the Good, good boys, boys come for you? All right. Anyway, so yeah, we are at Regal Movie Theaters once again on a Thursday, as usual. Why normal not? time, normal place. Normal time, normal place. But we are missing Layton. Rest in peace. I, nah, he's not <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. He's somewhere doing some other stuff. Anyway, so... Uh, this I is think part one this of is, our expectations. Not I think. This is part one of the expectations, as usual. Uh -huh. So we have part one, part two. Uh, part two is going to break down, not spoilers, but... non spoiler free. Our opinion on what we thought. So I'm going to go ahead and go first on this one. I am... I kind of got some, not high hopes, but I think I'm going to go with a six. Six out of ten right now. I want to see at, at least a above average. Hopefully it gives me some, you know, humor like uh, Super Bad and some other, like, just, I don't know, there's kids that are like. Don't forget about role models, There's man. kids, yeah, role models. Role models. There's kids, like, acting like adults in this movie. So that's kind of just funny on its own. Just seeing how a kid would, you know, swear and react to all these stupid jokes and stuff. So, I don't know. I mean, and it is the guy that did uh, Year One and Bad Teacher. So, I don't know how you guys thought about that. But, yeah, I just, you know, hopefully I just crack my ass off. And hopefully they don't hold back. It this. shouldn't be, man. It's rated R. It is rated R. It's rated R. We, they got to go for it. Throw some punches, man. We've seen movies that are rated R that are not... Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, you have rated R, so yeah. aren't you going the full nah, scope of it, I guess. Anyway, that's my thoughts, and you go, Roberto. Yeah, so I'm going to go in this movie. You now, after knowing year one, especially, I'm like, somebody help. But uh, I don't know. From the trailers, it looks good. Um, I don't know if these, I, I'm pretty sure they're not going to go that adultish. Maybe they, they are. Or actually, maybe it's going to be a mixture of maybe some adults that they didn't show in the trailers. Hopefully, I'll go that direction. Because the kids in general, we know already, can't really go that hard. Can't really punch it because they're child actors. So, they got to have it a little cleaned down. Kind of something, something similar to role models. If anybody saw role models, role models I thought was pretty good. You know, you had uh, Paul Rudd and Sean William Scott. I thought they did a pretty good job. The two kids, I forgot their names. Or I forgot that one kid. and Obviously, Mick Lovin. McLovin, but anyways, hey, you him? yeah, I don't know his name though. McLovin, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know his real name. But anyways, I'm gonna go in this movie. I'm gonna go in a six. Just hopefully it's funny, entertaining, and hopefully they do some crazy stuff. It's not though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was like that. Yeah, but, we'll go with that. Okay, Chrono X. Yeah. So, um, these kind of movies aren't really my my thing. Um. Like, Super Bad was alright for me. It wasn't, like, super hilarious. No! It was not. I'm sorry. No! It just wasn't. No! Oh, that, that's not my style of comedy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You didn't like the fat Jonah Hill? How can you not like the fat Jonah Hill? Or Michael Sarah? Seriously. Or especially their gayest Mike, moment. Michael Sarah. <laughs> Are you really serious? <laughs> Michael Sarah. Of course he can't act, but then, then again in um, the other movie, Scott Pilgrim. Uh, versus the role, he did actually a pretty good job in that movie. Though. But the source of material of that thing is awesome. Right. Can't screw that up. <laughs> Bad acting can though. I wish, I wish we had like multiple cameras <laughs> so I can focus on his face. And focus, hey, come closer, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to give it a five. I'm not expecting too much. They're probably going to put little kids in adult situations. This is probably where most of the comedy is going to come from. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what what it turns out to be. It could bomb real hard, or it could be really funny. Hopefully, it's not a bomb because uh, at least we didn't pay 15 bucks. Right. We're going right. to pass, man. We gotta go into this movie. So. All right, we gotta get the hell out of here, guys. Check back. Check for part back. two. Part two. Shoot. Peace, Peace out. <laughs>